All right, microphone check one, two. Can you hear me out there? Ground control to Major Tom. Hello. How's everybody doing? My name's Jaron. I'm glad you're here. You can call me Jay. Uh, wait, boom. Base cam. What's up? I'm going to make, uh, I'll make beats. Figured I would do a little stream. So what I've got, uh, what I'm working on today is I recorded uh, some drums. I've got here that I'm working on. Um, there's not really anything in those, but uh, I recorded some drums, and I'm going to try and incorporate. Um, I'm gonna try and incorporate that into an, uh, into a hip hop beat because I play the drums a lot, and I want to incorporate live drums. So, so is there something in my hair? No, oh, it's my forehead. No. Nope. There's nothing in my hair. That's just my forehead. So let me play a little bit of the drums here of what I recorded. Um, so you can kind of get an idea. So I recorded this in my garage. Nothing crazy, right? It's not supposed to be wild, it's a hip hop beat. But so what I'm gonna do here is, uh, I've got a another drum set here. So I'm gonna make a um, I'm gonna f make a loop using this uh, Formaggio kit. Oh, I've got a little bit of keyboard. Uh, I'm gonna make a beat with that, and then I'm gonna pick from a part of this drum thing that I did. So this drum thing is just literally me playing a different like samples across the, the kit for over five minutes. So there's the ride symbol. Some of it's not as like usable and that's okay. But um close and the thing is with this I don't have to use I don't have to need actually need that much of it um, I only need a little bit because it's a sample right so you get a, a small amount that works and then we're gonna chop it up and loop it um, or if I've got you know eight bars of just really steady groove there then we can we can go with that um, and there's definitely some of that in here. So I just have to kind of decide what beat I want to make. So I think I'm going to go back then to... I decided I wanted to try and use this... Um, this kit that I found. It's called Formaggio. Wait. Where is it? Something vibey. That's kind of nice. I don't think I'll do that though. The thing is with this, with the loop beat, I don't want to fill it up too much because there's going to be a lot of, um, probably a lot of, like most of the sound's going to come from the live drums, so that's what I'm hoping for. Um, so I'm going to try and keep this uh, real simple. Just to kind of supplement it, to give it that hip hop style on the Sonics, but have but feature the live drums. I'm really trying to focus on this live drum thing. In case you didn't, right, so hold on. You know, I need to send this. Hold on. Sorry, I'm trying to get my buddy to come join the stream here.
Okay, sorry. I don't know if anyone's even watching. I think we had one viewer. Hello, one viewer. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is make a loop. That's where we're at. Doesn't matter. Let's do that. So it doesn't really matter because I'm just going to fix it anyway. Uh, you hit fold, and then uh, folding it just means it kind of gets rid of all of the extra. So that's the full drum kit. That's all the options I have. But since I only use two notes in that loop, I'm going to loop, hit the fold button. Um, and now we have that. So then I could just kind of control A and fix it nicely. So then we solo with the metronome. Yeah. So that one's going to be a little bit ahead of the beat. And you fix it. You decide what you want. I just like to perform it at least once. Looks like most of the snare notes need to go a little farther, which is okay because I already moved them once. They were probably fine where they were. Honestly, that's okay though. Go ahead right there and then there. Nope. Nope, I already messed it all up. I'm gonna have to just do it individually. Okay. But that's okay, it's a quick fix. Again, I'm not trying to go super wild with this loop. I'm just trying to get. What's nice about this grid thing is you can just see um, if they're ahead. So if I even I could even make it more simpler and go to eighth notes. Yeah. So that one's ahead there, etc. Like Jan, if you were gonna do this, why didn't you just do this from the beginning? I don't know. That's a good question. But whatever. So let's keep that. That sounds nice. <coughs> Get it to loop. Easy enough. The next thing I'm going to do is take us try to pick a sample. Control the drums here. Problem is I don't know if these actually, the drum thing actually starts on the downbeat. Let's see if I can line it up to start on like measure two or something. Oh, that works. Okay. Okay, all right, I don't hate it. I definitely need a different bass drum. So what I'm gonna do now, I like it. Oh, thankfully the air turned off. I like it, but I need to change the kick. To give it a little bit more So if I were going to use that, I'd have to change the I would have to change the bass part. I guess I could do that. So that it would have to be a uh, boom boom pop. Something like that. Um, I don't know if I like that, but, but later I changed to the other, where was it? I think later on I go. The problem is starting, starting at a different place. Okay, so we can't run the loop. Uh, which is fine, actually, let's stop. We'll do this, we'll hit that one. Okay. Um. But I can just play it.
That doesn't sound bad. I don't have the men on, sorry. Here we go. This is what we wanted. I wanted that 16th now. Right here at measure 13. No? Right here, cool. So I'm gonna start, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna control A, and I'm going to try, actually I don't know if I can do that. Instead of doing that, I'm gonna, sp I'm gonna split the stem so that it uh, will start where I want it to. So now I can just go boom. Pop. So, um, let's say control uh, copy everything, and I'm just, just going to store it on my other tab here. So, I'm going to paste it all here. That way, I can go boop and I can actually make build the track the way I want to in the real mix, but I can keep my all my um. All my original samples because there's a lot of it so if I think from here if I do it correctly I should be able to copy this down to number two and do like that That one sounds a little off. Let's move it a little bit forward. So that's also the thing with live drums. It's a little bit of a challenge is you have to kind of um, give and take where. And maybe that's something I like. won't use that first bar of the groove because it gets better. end needs to be better in time. And if I really wanted to, um, so let's say like uh, we want to fix that, um, which is possible. It's almost more trouble than it's worth, um, which is totally fine. But I'm going to see We'll just see. The problem with it, editing the timing of a note when you have eight microphones is they're all in phase with each other. I like lined them up. I did that before I started streaming because I actually already been working on this. But um, so to move one note, you have to actually move that note in every stem. If that makes sense. So I'll just show you. So I'm going to paste this at the beginning. And it's just that first snare note, I think, right? I think that's what we decided when I... Mm. So, what I would have to do, and I don't think I'm going to do it because it really doesn't, it doesn't sound that bad, especially if it's going to be a hip-hop groove. But what I would do is I would find the notes are probably like... All the way at the beginning, pretty much. Be right here. And I'd go, okay, I want this freaking note. Um, this one? Or this one? That one. I'd want that one. So I'd have to go here and I'd have to split it all the way down. You can see how there's this one, one thing. I have to split it all the way down uh, and move it over. I'm actually not going to do it because I don't think that it's worth it. I think I'm just going to have it be its own little thing, be a character flaw of the beat. So that way, and that's what's, okay, like, that's something. We'll work, we can work with that.
Okay, so, and now, after listening to it for a minute, we actually can't use this first bar, but we should be able to start maybe on bar three. So I'm going to control all, see if it'll let me, uh, I'll just do it this way instead. Earlier, normally, so I'll see if I can do it just to show you. Sometimes you can control A and you can just kind of drag the, oh, see, it worked, hell yeah. I tried it before, it would only drag one at a time. So instead of that, we could do it like that. Uh, it would sound something like... Then I could fix this note, and boom. Yeah, all right. There's four bars of good stuff. Let's see if we can get eight. Ooh! Yeah, that was eight bars. That's good. Okay, so I think I only went for... Great. So that's awesome, actually. I'm really ha kind of happy with that. Uh, so normally, I make beats with just electronic drums. I don't normally use... Um, I don't normally use live drums. This is actually an experiment. That's kind of why I'm doing it. But... Um... Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, what I'm going to do then... Copy that, and I'm going to hit loop. So once I hit loop on the sample down here, I can then drag it. Oh, maybe not. No, maybe I can't. I was going to try to drag it and hope it would drag the loop, but it won't. So instead of that, I will just copy and paste it a thousand times. Oops, I do. The way to copy and paste it a thousand times is just copy it once, boom, copy it twice, boom. You know what I mean? So um, something like that. Now I think that gives us 32. Looks like it. Yep, awesome. Let's start with that and. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, okay. Hello. What you doing? All right. I can hang with that. Uh, hey, hey. Hey, 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 all right, all right, cool. So now that we've got a little something this kind of sounds hip hop -y, let's make some. Ooh, okay. So something like that. Maybe go higher. This is now we get to the fun part. I gotta move my microphone just a little bit so I can play this thing. Uh, we get to like a. Or we could do something. No, that's not bad. It's definitely not out. Um, okay, let's also do, let's try just one time. Um, adding some like some sub bass where we got our, which I thought we had, but. Um, so what I'll do is, how's my computer doing? Eight, no, no, looks like we're okay. Um, Let's do, what was I about to do? Oh, create a MIDI track. I'm gonna drag it all the way to like here. And it's gonna be one of our favorites. Hip hop sub bass. Um, I'm clearly using Ableton, so I don't know what it's called on other things, but it's pretty simple. This is a pretty standard. That's dirty. So 
So let's see. That doesn't sound bad. Uh. Doesn't sound as good higher up. That's not too loud in the stream. Hold on, let me check. No, oh, that sounds okay. Cool. Sorry, I'm worried. I just wanted to make sure that the audio is okay for the stream. Um, let me check this real quick. Do, do, do. I think I'm going to do that, actually. Um, sorry, give me just a moment. i got to tweet it out so there's get more people on the stream. All right. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience, one viewer. Hope you're doing okay. Okay. All right. Thank you again for your patience. Trying to get more people to come watch this stream. I don't know if I like that much distortion on it. Hey, Elixir, what's up, buddy? Hey, Pickle Rick Gift. So I'm, uh, I'm making a beat with, uh, for those of you who just joined us, I'm making a beat using live drums that I recorded in my garage. Also, uh... Uh, so we're going from there, yeah. And then I've got some a drum loop going. Um, I probably should move the drum loop like way up here. If you're wondering why I have so many up tracks, because I use templates. Um, hey, somebody, what's up, buddy? Um, so, so everybody who's just joining us, hello, welcome to Play On Music Edition. Uh, my name is Jaren, you can call me Jay. I'm making a beat with um, drums that I recorded. So I've got a bunch of samples. Like a, I recorded a bunch of like like seven minutes of random drums at, um, at 80 beats per minute, sorry. And, um, and then I picked a sample out, uh, the eight bars that I liked. I'll play it for you just to speed every, just to get everybody up to speed here. Um, I made it this. So I recorded this with the metronome, try to get it as perfect as I can, right? So I got to eight bars and it and then it loops. So then I said okay. Let's add some electronic drums to give it like a more electronic or hip hop feel, which is what I'm going for. So we went and we added uh, a loop from this one. 
from this Formaggio kit. I did end up changing the bass drum on the kit to give us a little bit more of a, a boomy kick sound. I like that kick a little bit more. It's the kind that makes the, the bass in your car activate, like the sub, if you have one. And so um, I think, try to think about that when I make a mix of how, it, how it's going to sound in my headphones or on like my iPhone or then in my car or on my big speaker down here. I can't do it right now because it'll mess up with the mic bleed, but you understand what I mean. So when I add in that, it sounds like this. And I can even, I will put, so what I want to do here is I want to bring up, I want to bring up my drum loop here. Um, right now I don't really have any effects on it, except for, oh, I guess I do. When did I do that? I don't remember adding those, but there's EQ and compression. So EQ and compression are like my go-to like main effects, at least for, for first. Um, so I'll put EQ to kind of give it make the bass happy or whatever. And then I can turn up the output. Yeah. Turn it down a little bit here. Get it right where I want. There we go. So yeah, that's where we're that's where we're at. Once we're here, um so I was making a make I was adding bass. That's our next thing. I kind of like that. So let's try that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record it here on hip hop sub bass, but I'm going to double it up on the roads too. So what I could do actually, let's just see how it's going to sound before I do it. Kind of adds that nice burn. Kind of nice. And actually, I, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm actually going to record separate loops for those. So I'm just going to do the bass on its own first. So I hit this little circle right here. Or I'll do it on number two because that's where it's at. Um, sorry, I'm thinking. Here we go. Okay, I only need a couple bars. So, perfect. Um, it, it knew that I wanted, only wanted four bars, so. Nice, okay, so. I like that, I think that sounds good. Pull the bass. Sounds kind of cool. So now I'm going to do something similar. I'm going to do it in octaves. So I'm going. I might even do it. Let's try that. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to like that or if I'm going to be able to play it very well, but let's try. Here we go. Um,
So what I'm doing now, is I'm gonna do it a number of times so I get like the good one that I want. that so let's go now um, let's go through it listen and see because it, it might all be usable it might not because what's cool about actually what's cool about ha using a longer performed sample like that in my opinion is that you get uh, you get a more human sound out of it it's not just Here's one measure you're going to get a thousand times. No, you're going to get eight measures of unique drums. You know, that was 16 measures of unique synth. We might not use all the 16th, but you get what I'm saying, right? Um, so, because otherwise, if it were a normal hip hop beat, right, it, you'd get. And that's good and fine. It really is. But. It drops way better with the drums. And that's the goal. That's what we're going for here. So now, now it's starting to vibe. Get this mix right. Cool. Sorry, the mic is just all sorts of in my way today. All sorts of in my way. So what I want to do here, I want to pull, I want to pull this uh, Rhodes up, but it's Sorry, it's bugging me. I want to get rid of the road sample, but uh, it's a little bright, so you can do a number of things to uh, to kind of attack that. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to the actual like virtual instrument. It's got a brightness setting. I'm going to turn that down and kind of see because I want to turn. My octaves weren't together, that's the problem. Beat them. That. That's the mistake there. Boom. It's closer. I don't I'm not ashamed of I'm not above fixing stuff. I'm really not. Um because it's just not gonna sound good if it's wrong. You know what I mean? So either you can or you can make it happen when, you know, at least in this instance. Um, you know, I didn't edit my drum part at all. Um, the drum set stuff. Like, that's eight continuous bars of just me playing. I didn't quantize it. I didn't fix any of the rhythms. I, I just, you know. So that, there's integrity in that. But on MIDI stuff and loops, like, whatever. It doesn't really matter that much. Uh, it does, but I don't know. Uh, so okay, we're gonna go. So really, it should be like. Yeah. Oh, and there's a some extra note in there. So you notice how there's a D in here. So I can literally just be like, I don't want, I don't want any Bs in there. So now I hit boom, boom, refold it. Now they're all gone. Cool. Then I can decide all oh, these notes are a little short. You know. Let's try like that. All kinds of details that you can adjust to make it sound better.
then again, like, it just gets better. So maybe I'll just start at... Yeah, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to highlight. Can I do that? Make them all. See if I can make all of the those notes just a little longer. Oh, yeah, that, that sounded good. Work, 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 work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do what I say, cause when I get up on the mic, I write the rules, okay? Cause I'm bode, bodicious, I'm vicious when I hit ya. When I get on the mic, yeah, I do this like mister. Ooh, I'm missed ya with all these problems you got. Cause when you heard me get up on the mic, it's like full throttle stop, full stop on your heart. And now you wanna be heart and shard in your pants. And now you're doing a dancing. Cause I got this beating, coming out my feet and ruining your weekend. Now my fault you're creeping. Yeah. I can rap to this. So, next step is to let's add some other add some more layers. So I like that, but I don't, but I don't at the same time. It's funny. A really slow pitch bend. All right, let's see if I can make it happen. That's going to be a challenge to make that over two bars. Because I'm just, I'm using this tiny little. Using this tiny little thing to like try and make it happen, but. So let's just try it again. I still don't know if I like even that sound, but, uh, well, so if I don't like that sound, what else can I do? I can just go back to this one and try it. So, uh, that's probably too much space. Nothing at all. 
this one doesn't really... I don't really need this one. So let's do something else with it instead of deleting it, though. Um, okay, like what? Click. So I'm just gonna find something. Honestly, I'm probably not gonna find anything in the Oregon department. Um, I'm kind of uh, old fashioned with my synth leads. So let's find another lead. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Let's try that. Uh, I was gonna say I'm old fashioned, but I usually just use the same old things, but screw it. Let's try something different today. Yeah, that's cool. The problem is it goes super high up with that. There. I still don't... So, sorry, I'm just working and not talking uh i don't i don't like the attack it's i don't like that wowie wow 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 um which is fine oh gosh so that's even like the opposite way i just don't want that attack to be so maybe 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 20 seconds is too long sorry Then I want it to sustain for just a little longer. That's a tough one. Because I really like that. But you can't... You can't really change the notes. Okay, so the next thing that I want do would do if I don't like that bright um, sound that's coming out of it. I don't know. Um, I'm going to pull up, the, I'm going to EQ it. The power of EQ is mighty.
Okay, so um, I like this less, so I'm gonna turn it down. That's a little better. I wonder if I could just slow this down. Hold on, I think I can hear this out of syncness of my drums. Hold on. Interesting. Why is that? Wow, so that's my hi hat being out of phase. From, I guess it must be from the clusters. So let's check it, shall we? So this is what's powerful about being able to slow things down and really, okay. Sorry, once you get down to the nitty gritty, it gets a little. Or is it from the, no? Hmm. So I'm trying to figure out where this, it's the snare drum. So to find out where the, That was weird. Seventy three is a little slow. Let's go up to like Oh, that's the wrong one. I'm like, where's the So I'm not sold on this after fade choir thing, so I don't think I'm gonna I'll leave it, but I will I'm gonna change it to I'm gonna work on something else with it and then see what I like. So I usually like stuff like that, but I already have one, so I need something not bass. Um with a lead or a pad. I guess let's go for a pad. Let's see if we can find a good one. No. So the key is you've got to wait. Look at these beats and see. Adjust the chord.
What's wrong with the snare hit? The snare hit was fine earlier. What is wrong with you? That was weird. I didn't have that problem before. So let's get let's simplify a little bit. Okay, so then that still sounds good. Maybe I need to leave it like simple. I don't know. That's too muddy. Okay, well, what if I brought it up a couple octaves? G1. So uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just moving it up. Um, I think usually I can, yeah, I can just drag it. I can just hold the up arrow. And I know it was C to G, so something like that. You know, it's funny because I'm probably going to end up using my same square wave that I always end up using. And like Jaren stopped using the square wave, but it sounds good. Watch. Let's see. Let's see how it sounds. Maybe it doesn't sound good. Oops. Hold on. Maybe I can. Hold on. Oh, it's like out of. Why is it out of tune? That's weird. It's like a tritone off. Okay, well that's fine. I then I can fix it. So if it's a tritone off, it just needs to go to that's weird though. Why is that why is it tuned to that? There's no effects. It's tuned to an octave up, but not any semis. I don't know. That is strange. But it's just literally a tritone okay. All right, that's fine. I can deal with it. I just don't understand. Um, that makes no... Uh, what the hell? Oh, and then it fixes it? I do not. Okay. All right. I guess I'll have to... It fixed itself. That was weird. Okay, so now that it's correct, can I just... Can we just not have this problem? That... that unfortunately does not sound good. Uh, but I think I can perform it better. I don't know. Go oh, that maybe.
Oh. How about that? That sounds good, right? Oh. Okay, that ha that has to be done. All right, we found something. Good. I was I started to get worried. There it is. Hell yeah. Cool, so that is definitely going to be in. I like that a whole lot. So that gave it a whole different character without me having to like change the chord or do anything wild. Uh, sometimes you get lucky with melodies. That's that's it right there. That way we give it. Uh, maybe that one. Yes. Work. 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 So now I'm going to fatten up. Instead of adding uh, an electric... Normally this is where I would like, oh, I'm going to add a clap or another... Snare. No, I'm just gonna beef in a, um, beefy beef up my uh, the snare drum from the live drums to try and like fill out the mix that way. Cause I actually, ooh, that doesn't sound very good. That sounds better. I think I isolated it. Goodness. Oh hell yeah. So, there's like this weird, now it's too, see this is the problem with gates and for me, it's where does it, where does it really sound the best? Problem. So what I'm doing now is I'm bringing the um, the kick up. The problem is if they're not a if they're not perfectly in line, that's kind of weird. But b they're in the same frequency range, so I have to decide um, kind of how I want to do that. My thought is to pull some of the lows out of the actual kick drum from the live, and let the lows that I probably turn those down. Let the lows from the um, electronic kit that I like so much. Um, let that kind of fill out the low end and give it that like hip hop feel. Um, maybe I'll even add like a sub 808 kind of thing. Ooh, 
that's not what I want. I don't know. I've ruined it. I didn't like that either, though. Why did I leave it like that? Why is four right here? That's the problem. Two needs to come back. I don't really like that, honestly, but... But that doesn't sound good either. What if I bring up, like... This is definitely a weakness of mine here. Just getting this EQ to be. Because it sounds okay, but it doesn't sound great. So my my instinctual, my gut reaction to fix this is just to turn the kick drum and the live down. And really hope that this... You know, now that I, the more I listen to that, the less I like that. Uh, the less I like that kick. Let's see if we can find something better. No, 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 wait. No, I'm looking for like a, a 606. That's not bad. 808 tone. I could do that one. Big sign. No. So the problem is these are all just like, meh. They're very specific. I like that, but I don't like the distortion. And this is the problem with going down the, the rabbit hole. I could do, I could go all the way through these. I'm not gonna. I think I'm gonna do the 808 or the 606. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Um, so I was trying to. Sorry. My um, my 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 uh, mixing sensei is. <laughs> shout outs! Shout outs to uh, my buddy Austin, uh, for teaching me all this. He didn't teach me all this, but he taught me a lot. The six oh six mod. Let's try that. Let's see if we like that more. No, I hate that. Why do I hate that? Oh, because it's got all this crap on it. Okay. I don't... Because that's not... not like, that's not how it sounded. So what do I... It's got all this crap on it. What if I just turn all of this down? That's not how... That's not at all how that sounded. Is it the EQ? No. It's absolutely not. Okay. So, how do we fix that? Well, I'm going to duplicate it. Oops. Sorry. Oops. I'm going to duplicate the track, but I'm going to do it as a different, 
I'm gonna do it as just a bass drum rack. And then I'm gonna move just the specific. I wonder if this will let me do this. This might not allow me to do what I want here. Well, I guess it doesn't, can't be that hard, right? Drag it over here and then go back. Put it there. Easy enough. Actually, so then it should be bar. Oh, it moved it though. I didn't mean to do that. Mm. Okay, undo. Go back to where you came from. That sounded bad. That sounded bad, sorry. Um. How do I want to do this? Oh, I, I totally messed it up. Oh, okay, undo. There we go. Because <laughs> this isn't even remotely what it was supposed to sound like. Transpose minus 33 steps. That'll do it. When did that happen? That doesn't sound any different, though. Oh, okay. Well, then that's not where we wanted it. Sorry, I'm just trying to... I guess I didn't... I didn't need to go down that rabbit hole. Sorry, the bass drum sounds fine. It doesn't, actually, but I'm going to have to... I'll work on it. Why does that sound so bad? It's just because I've got this weird ass thing. Okay, so then... I do have another solution, sorry. Sorry this, this is boring, but I have to figure this out. Um, here we go. So what I've done is I've just added a, the 808. And those probably needs to, probably needs to go lower. Probably needs to go down the octave to zero. Yeah, there we go. Again, that's the only worry with doing that is muddying up is muddying up the mix with all of these kick drums. So let's try even just that. Okay, so we definitely need a kick drum, but we don't want this one. I really don't understand why it sounds like that. I guess that's just the thing it's on, but I just can't, like, I'm like what, what effects is it running? Yeah, it's too loud.
All right, we're definitely getting somewhere. I'm still not quite happy with the low end. That sounds a little better. The audio still sound okay for you guys. Let's see. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Fade Choir. Also, sorry that my air keeps turning on. Uh, okay, After Fade Choir has to go, so what are we changing it out with? Like a string sound would be cool, don't you think? Or even that, just block minor chords. Shut up for a second so I can stop. That's pretty nice. There it is. less now for some reason. Sorry.
Sorry, I'm having problems with my uh, focus right naturally. Does this ever happen to anyone? Alright, that, that'll do. Close. like it as much. What about the noise? Well, guess I didn't like that one as much as I thought. I do like it, but... That's not the right note. It just has like some random like... It alternates. That's so weird. Why does it do that? Okay, well, can't use that one. Weird. See, that's the problem with all these leads. They're all unique, but they're all just... They don't... They don't always, like, jump well into a mix. You know? Oh my gosh. Yeah, like, that's not at all how it sounded. Jeez. Okay, uh. nope, not that either. So unfortunately, so much of, um, so much of finding sounds, or so much of making beats is finding the right sounds, because if you don't have the right sound, it doesn't matter what the part is. You just have to have, the, you know. Um. Maybe it's just another, maybe this is a Rhodes thing. Maybe I'm reinventing the wheel and I don't have to. So let's see. Um, I guess that'll be embarrassing if it happens, but that's okay. Yeah. Or 
might be too low. That's all right. So what I'm trying to figure out now is whether I include the the root in um, in the thing the whole time. So I could either go or if I want to muddy up and have that suspension in the chord the whole time. Not sure if I do. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, okay. That decides it. Here I go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the the, the C. Yeah, that's it. No wait, that's not it. I messed up. Uh run it again, sorry. Now that I've done that, what's really nice about MIDI, specifically in this instance, is that I can go back and edit the velocity of the notes. Um, because what I want is on the very last one, um, specifically I want these C's to stand out so you get that different kind of resolution. Um, something like that. And then you can kind of see, like on some of these, um, because the velocity is lower, you don't the notes don't speak nearly as well, um, which is okay because, like I said, luckily you can edit it. Ooh, but we can't have that a thousand miles behind everybody. Let's just make this just make them clean. Screw it. So want the it's an E flat in this instance it's actually not a D sharp because or of the key that we're in but um, I'm gonna pull those down so that it doesn't sound like we're resolving back up that's the problem um, with that let's, 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 let's oh gosh Sorry about that.
So now what I'm gonna do, um, cause I like the way this one speaks the most. I'm actually going to just paste this one over where the others were. Just don't tell their, don't tell them. And the reason why I'm doing that is so that I get uh, just a more consistent passing chord every time, something like that. Yeah, that's kind of it. And what's cool about this is, well, it sounds cool. I'm digging it. Sorry. Cool. Yeah, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop there for now. Um, at least for the stream, I've got to go get some lunch. and. Um, but yeah, I'll be back around later on. Thanks for checking it out here. Uh, if you like what you hear, you can hear more of my beats um, at soundcloud.com slash... MK Ultra, so I'll pull it up here real quick so you guys can see um, where you can hear all my stuff. Um, give me just a moment here, I'll let the beat play out. All right, so if you uh, if you've enjoyed what you've heard today, you can go to where is it? Boop. Uh, boop. You can go to here. SoundCloud.com/slash/MKUltraTexas, and I got mad tracks, mad mad tracks. So if you would like to hear. And yeah, this beat's not on there yet, but it will be. Um, probably be made to a song, so. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. It's been real fun. Um, so if you're not a uh, follower or anything, do that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time when we play on.